Hey Leo, welcome to December. Also welcome to this tarot reading and my channel. This is Starkeology Tarot. I am Desi, this is my channel, and um, I'm excited to read your cards for you this December. See what divine messages are in store for you this month. Um, I'm gonna take a moment and call in source energy, call in spirit. I'm calling in your guides, your ascended masters, your angels and archangels. If you are watching this video, it is because you are an, in, an intended part of the collective here. Um, you were meant to see this video and your guides led you here. And your guides are affecting this shuffle and this reading right now. Because you were always destined to be a part of this reading. Messages that resonate are what is meant for you. If one of these messages does not resonate, it is not meant for you. It is meant for another member of the collective. So just graciously take what is yours and leave the rest. This is good for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I encourage you to check out your other placements because you are a complex puzzle, and this is only one piece of it. What are the divine messages for Leo? For December. Beautiful. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Queen of Swords, and Ten of Wands. Leo, you've kind of been um, pushing through a particularly tedious stage in your life right now. Um, you just have, you have a lot of, of plates that you're spinning and a lot of commitments and things that you've devoted yourself to. Um, and December is going to be a time where you put some of those wands down, where you look at each one and you ask yourself, is this, is this something I'm devoted to because I really love it? Or is this something that I'm doing for someone else? Um, was I a yes man for any one of these <laughs> wands? Um, am I doing it be just, just because I couldn't say no? Some of you are feeling a bit so overwhelmed and burdened by the things that you're doing, by, by everything that's on your plate, that you're unable to actually see your true path forward. Um, others of you know exactly what your path is, but there is so much that you that you want to do. It's almost like your eyes are bigger than, well, not, not your stomach because you're not eating the path, but your eyes are bigger than... Um, uh, than your reality, like what you're able to actually do. Um, so that is affecting you this month. Many of you are coming off of having made some, some significant or small sacrifices to achieve some small or big success. And uh, you are in a place of having achieved this, this success, having reached a new kind of stability and um, certainty in your life is what I'm seeing with this nine of pentacles. Um, it took some, like I said, like some sacrifices along the way, but you listened to yourself at every given moment. You didn't abandon yourself. You didn't, you didn't necessarily um, do something out of fear. Which makes me rethink this burden card. I don't think this is about saying, I don't think this is about saying, being a yes man or saying yes to other people's dreams. This is all about your dreams. It's really just having too many dreams, not knowing how to organize them all. Um, but you really have been, you've, you have this sense of certainty that you can rest on having, tr being able to trust that you, the decisions that have you've made that have brought you to this point have been intentional, purposeful, and aligned with what you really want and who you really are. And there is such relief in that. 
um, because so many people don't have that, especially if they go through a sacrifice, if they sacrifice something and they don't have the kind of certainty of like, well, I, I know I had to do that for me because I couldn't abandon myself in that moment. I couldn't abandon my dream in that moment. I know I had to make that sacrifice to bring me to this point. And um, that is so reassuring that you do have that. Um, a lot of people make those sacrifices and they're like, I don't know because I abandoned myself a lot along the way. And so now the sacrifice feels confusing and it doesn't feel worth it. <laughs> um, or I don't know if it's worth it. So you really are experiencing success and achievement that have come from that, that kind of aligned decision-making certainty within yourself and, um, sacrifice sometimes in the name of that certainty and where you are right now knight of cups oof. um this is about bringing fantasy into reality this is what december is about for you that might be what feels overwhelming um there might be some burden in that like making this fantasy a reality for you um, because the knight of cups can get very lost in the dreaming um, so lost in the dreaming that he can lose touch with reality, that he actually becomes the most passive knight of all, barely moving, um, not actually going on the adventure in front of him because he has too rich of an, of an adventure happening already in his mind. So so some of you, this is really about... Um, translating those fantasies those dreams into reality excuse me and um others of you this knight of cups is um someone else that is coming to you with some sort of proposition proposal some of you might be actually experiencing a proposal and this could be about your relationship the struggles um the challenges in your relationship but knowing that being certain and you know you, you've been certain about everything up until this point so why doubt the path anymore because it, it it's completely aligned with what you've what you've wanted now it's and now you're seeing kind of the fruits of that like this this proposal this opportunity that might be coming in this relationship um someone presenting their heart to you in a in a really beautiful way or maybe you are the person doing that you are the person proposing you are the person um, coming to someone you love and saying, here's my heart, this is my, here's my vulnerabilities, here's, here's me. Um, I want to pour my heart out to you. And I'm certain about that. I have a sense of certainty that is leading me on this next adventure in love, in um, art, in emotional well-being and growth, in relationships. Um, not necessarily romantic, but platonic friendships, you know, could be. So that's really beautiful. And I think I keep coming back to this Ten of Wands, Leo, because I feel like a lot of this is, for you is, is really almost about like maybe reframing how you see the burdens in your life, the burden that you are carrying. Is there a way that... Um, you can still be pushing through these challenges, but not, not allow them to blind you on your path forward. Um, we have the Queen of Swords in the advice position. Which is very interesting. Um, the advice here as you move through these challenges um, and maybe this new opportunity, this emotional opportunity, um, you know, on the heels of your recent success, the advice is to, wow, well, I'm really yawning. I feel like I'm releasing something for you guys. Um, it could be that burden that uh, needs to be released. Um, Queen of Swords is about transmuting sorrow into wisdom. Not carrying the sorrow with you in a way that continues to hurt you 
beyond the event, beyond that initial sorrowful event, but rather to transmute it um, into gold that you can, that is, is valuable to you. Because that's really the role that sorrow and pain can play in our lives in a positive way. Sorrow and pain can be positive when we are able to transmute it into wisdom, when it becomes a reason for liberation, not something that chains us as we move into the future. So the big thing here is, is as you move forward on this adventure, as you continue to, you know, be managing, um, the burden of responsibility. Oh my God, excuse me. The burden of responsibilities and, um, commitments and things that you're devoted to, uh, the biggest thing I think is, is to not let past pain, sorrow, failure play a role in, in making your path forward smaller than it should be, or simpler than it should be, or, um, less ambitious than it should be. Your sorrow, your pain, your past failures, that is, th th those are part of your superpower. Those are part of the, those are, are reasons for why you have felt certain in your past, why you've achieved things recently. Your failure plays a role in that success, in that achievement. Your failures play a role in this new opportunity, this new adventure that's starting for you emotionally. So if you are able to really move forward excitedly into the future, by making your sorrow and pain make you bigger, make you larger than life, not smaller. That's what guarantees even more success for you on this adventure. That's what makes this burden feel less burdensome. That's what clears your path for you so you're able to see the way forward. You see the way forward by not letting your sorrow and pain get you down, pin you down, or make you keep your head down even. Like you're carefully watching your every step that you're taking. You're watching your own feet. That could be from past failures, past pain, past sorrow. Leo, I hope this is resonant. I would love to hear how this looks specifically for you in your life, so feel free to comment below. Like and subscribe, please, to this channel. Um, this community means so much to me, every single person who is a part of it. I look forward to connecting with you. And if you'd like to support me, support this work I'm doing and help me help you better with more tarot readings, more extensive readings, a wider variety of types of readings, please consider uh, supporting me on Patreon for just a few, a few dollars a month. Um, there's also a lot of perks over there if you're looking for more personalized uh, support each month so please check that out i am rooting for you leo i've i've got your back i love you and i will see you next time